As the general lecture nears, the number of TV appearances and speeches increases. That means there's more chance of a gaffe. One such moment happened on news night when Shadow Chancellor Ed Balls appeared. Usually a capable media performer, Balls forgot the name of one business leader who supported his party's plans. He explained to Emily Makeless that he had been at a meeting with a number of business supporters. But when asked who, he could only name Bill, a former chief executive of EDS. Makeless pushed for a surname, but Balls couldn't provide the goods. It turned out to be Bill Thomas, and David Cameron seized on the gaff. He said, he said, Bill somebody. <laughs> Mr Speaker, Bill somebody's not a person, Bill somebody's Labour's policy. <laughs> Elsewhere, the Secretary of State for Work and Pensions outlined his quiet revolution. Ian Duncan Smith stressed that the next Parliament must get the money flowing to where it would make the most impact. The senior Tory, speaking at an event hosted by Think Tank Reform, also said there is still much more to do in order to unleash the full potential of the so-called social investment market. Finally, apart from Lord Ashcroft revealed that Labour and the Liberal Democrats could face disaster at the general election in Scotland. The survey found that Douglas Alexander, a Labour heavyweight, could lose his seat to the SNP, as well as Dally Alexander, a Lib Dem front bencher. But it's good news for the SNP, as former First Minister of Scotland, Alex Salmond, is on to win the Gordon seat. The figures mean it looks like the Nationalists could be kingmakers after the general election, while severely denting Ed Miliband's chances of becoming the next Prime Minister. Thanks for joining us for Political Times. For more Westminster gossip and political news, be sure to check out ibtimes.co.uk forward slash politics.